Howdy, my peeps. So, the other week, I don't know, it was a few weeks ago, anyway. I went to the dollar store, and I saw this. And I was intrigued. Because I have been surprised by the paper at Dollar Tree. Um, one time I got some sketch paper, and it actually worked really well with markers, Copic markers. And it was really surprising. So when I saw this... I knew I had to try it. And I've already sketched something in here, but I have not tried it with markers or paint because I want to give you folks my first impressions. What I want to know is how well this works with markers and how well it works with watercolor paint. I just removed the sheet. And we're just gonna see how well this works. So the first thing I want to say is that I don't want to be too brutal because this paper did cost just a dollar and I mean like I said Dollar Tree paper has surprised me before but my hopes weren't too high and this paper it actually worked pretty well with the markers I think I used pro markers and I didn't notice any feathering or anything like that and when I did a little bit of blending on my character's skin it worked fine and I was able to layer colors and stuff and sometimes markers alcohol based markers do this thing where they'll like like you'll color and they'll like bleed outside of the lines um, it didn't do this on it didn't do that on this paper which was which was good but the water color oh my goodness I didn't expect much from this paper when it came to the watercolors because some good papers out there that are meant for watercolors um, have a tendency to wrinkle a little bit. <laughs> so like, I wasn't expecting much in that field. And as expected, it fell short. And I'm not mad at it because it was a dollar and <laughs> I mean, I didn't expect much from it in that aspect but it wasn't bad there was some warping and that was the main problem the warping and also um the paper absorbed the pigment pigment from the paint so when i laid down some color and tried to budge it with some water after it had dried for a little bit it didn't want to move which can be a good thing but it can also be a bad thing if you're trying to blend things out or if you just waited too long or maybe had to go do something and your paint you can't move it anymore and um, I think if you're trying to do some like watercolor paintings or something do not get this paper even though it is very cheap I think just go ahead and spend like four more dollars and get Kenson XL watercolor paper because that is the best cheap paper that I have ever used for watercolors and I like that paper and I use that paper a lot and also um Strathmore watercolor paper it comes in this like brown pad I found that at a local art store for like two dollars before so that's also nice so I think when it comes to watercolor um you should really get something that's gonna be able to hold the water and even though this paper was advertised as being for paint it did not hold up to the paint so I'm gonna have to take off some points for that stave. But other than that, this paper was was actually pretty nice. Um, when I sketched on it the other day, I really liked it. It felt nice to sketch on. And like I said, it took well to the markers. So I think this pad, I'm probably not gonna use watercolors in it again, but I can see myself using markers in it and also just sketching in it for fun because um, it did well in, that, in those regions. And um, in case you were wondering what this is, I redrew a meme with my OC, and it was really fun, and yeah, anyway. Um, here's the finished drawing. I had a lot of fun with this, um, not just like working with the new paper, but just the drawing itself. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got something out of it. If you like to support me and my art, you can head over to my coffee page or my threat list, or you can follow me on Instagram or subscribe to my channel if you want to. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and please enjoy the rest of your day.